Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another video. And as you guys can see by the title, today we're comparing the Kyrie 4 and the PG2s. Let's get it. What a time to be alive. What a time. Nike has some of the most exciting players under their roster, bro. Oh, Kyrie Irving, Uncle Drew, we all know how he does it, man. The guy has probably the craziest handles we've ever seen, ever seen. in the world. Yeah, the guy is fantastic, scores the ball, gets to any point of the floor that he wants to get to pretty much. He just, just he does everything Basically. pretty much. Paul George, one of the smoothest, <laughs> one of the <laughs> smoothest, <laughs> smoothest <laughs> scorers in the league. Bro, his game is nice, clean. bro. His game is so nice. Maybe my favorite player in the league. Mm -hmm. And he's also proven that he can be an off the ball scorer as well. So Nike, you guys are doing a great job. You've got two, some, some of the most exciting players in the oh, league under their roster. But today we aren't talking about the guys, we're talking about the shoes and how they perform side by side. So let's get straight into it. So first off, talking about aesthetics of both shoes, in the Kyrie 4, we've got the wraparound teeth, some really, really nice colorway seen on the court so far, some peas and some that have released. It's a, it's a clean looking shoe. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice looking shoe. Definitely. Here in the PG2, the shoe looks good. Yep. The shoe looks good. Leaked images didn't do it justice. Right. You've got to see the shoe in person to actually see how yeah. nice the shoe looks and get them on feet as well. But when we're comparing the aesthetics of both shoes, I think the point has to go to the Kyrie 4. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. That's a light one. Quick. Now moving on to the traction of both shoes over here in the PG2s, what we have is the psychedelic floral wave pattern. We make up names here that's at Pure Kicks, what we do. Surprisingly to me, this shoe, the traction of this shoe was amazing. Really good. Was really, really, really good. We didn't think the traction was going to be this good. Well, mm -hmm. Obviously, we knew PG2, the way he plays, there's certain things that will get covered, like cushion and fit and materials, all that PG1 stuff. PG1 was pretty good as well. PG2 was pretty good, but the traction in the shoe was insanely fantastic to me. Right. Really, really good. It really surprised me. The only thing I didn't like about it was that the translucent outsole wears away a bit too quickly for my liking, mm, fair. but the job still gets done, especially with a solid rubber outsole. So over here in the Kyrie 4, we've got that staircase Tetris modified herringbone pattern, which does the trick. Yep. It always has. It's the fourth shoe in the line, and the Kyrie traction has remained completely consistent, and this one is no exception to the rule. The fact that it wraps around and gives you that sidewall traction yeah. really does work. Some people think it's just a gimmick, but if you watch how Kyrie plays, and then if, you, if you're a player like myself who emulates how Kyrie plays, that traction comes in handy when it comes from diving on the floor or just getting up from a, a low crossover. Yeah. That, needed. that with the banking as well, oh, the outsole is curved as well. It's a shoe that's basically designed for traction pretty much. Traction is something that really focus on in the camera. Every time. Gets the job done and the point, it's, it, I think it's a really close one. I agree. I think it's a really, really close one because this traction pattern is really, really there. good. But the point has to go to the Kyrie. So moving up in the shoe, now we're talking about cushioning. In the Kyrie 4, we've got that kind of brand new cushion system introduced yeah. into the Kyrie line. We've got full length cushion with a zoom bag in the heel, which did the trick. Yeah. It's what we've been waiting for, for just some new cushion in the Kyrie line. And we got it and it performed so, so well. Felt amazing, no break in time. What more can you ask for? Over here in the PG2, we have this full length phylum midsole, which is called out in a 10 millimeter zoom bag in the fourth form, mm. which is actually bottom loaded and it feels absolutely brilliant That's it's so beautiful and in terms of placement i think we both prefer the zoom oh, bag facts. to be in the forefoot um, and the fact that it's large as well and it's thicker as well the point has to go to the pg2 it, it, it has to go to the i'd give it anything to get some forefoot zoom back in the carry four yeah. i don't know like it's happening yeah but the pg's got it so therefore I think it's nice to see that Nike has put some decent cushion in the, in the Kyrie shoe. So the cushion in both shoes is really good. The cushion in that shoe is one of the best things I think in that shoe. Oh, agree. But the cushion in this shoe is just brilliant and I love the fact that it's four foot zoom. So yeah, winning. <laughs> so moving on up to the materials in both shoes over here in the PG2s is we have a bunch of mesh all over the shoe, hints of suede, which actually adds that nice touch, pays homage to old school basketball shoes. Mm -hmm. And we have this neoprene sock like booty, which also does the job. What I like about the materials in the shoe is that they're very durable. Mm -hmm. They're really durable and they require minimal breaking time. Oh, and that's what you want in the shoe. Over here in the Kyrie 4, we've got that mesh backed with nylon in the forefoot, along with those premium suede and premium materials in the back of the ankle containment area. We've already seen the shoe come with synthetic leathers and suede already, yeah. which are also great materials, great for durability. 
Great for flexibility as well, yeah. even where you need it. So that forefoot is super flexible where these materials at the back are more about containment and did the absolute trick and really felt really good on foot. Didn't take too long to break in. And even more, they even look really good too. Yeah. So. I like sure. them a lot. One thing as well that I like about both shoes is that they both have this um, suede piece on the toe box area, Reflex. which is really nice. I think it's a really nice touch. Nice makes touch. The, makes you look a little bit different from what we've had traditionally as well. And of course helps you with durability as well when it yeah. comes to toe dragon. But looking at both shoes to me, which do you think gets the point? It's tough. It's actually very, very close. Very I think it's, it's, I think it's a Kyrie. I think it's a Kyrie as well. I think it's a Kyrie. I just like the fact that we've got a lot more suede in the heel oh, area, yeah. and it doesn't kind of get in the way of the shoe and the way you have to flex and all that stuff. So I think the point that definitely goes to the Kyrie. We've spoken about the materials in both shoes. Now talking about how the materials fit and how the shoe fits. Over here in the PG2s, we have one of the best fitting shoes to me. Oh yeah. Maybe of all time, I think. It's up there. Of all time. It's, it's a Hall of Famer for sure. Just the way the shoe kind of caters to all different types of feet. Oh, exactly. It's absolutely incredible. This four foot band, which acts like a strap, but you only have one band and it kind of locks your foot down from both angles pretty much. And it just feels amazing. And the fact that it's also connected to the lacing oh, system yeah. and the way the lacing system is and the way it kind of just wraps around your foot. Oh, the, the fit in the shoe is incredible at me. Because this, the, the fit in this is fantastic, people. I'm not lying to you guys. Don't really know how I can follow that, to be honest. I mean, the, I mean, the Kyrie's good food. It's, it's good. <laughs> good food. You hungry? Yeah. What did I say? What did I say? It's a good food. I'm actually kind of hungry. I, right, cool. I didn't even. I will eat in a sec. It's a good shoe. However, the fit is pretty good. It just doesn't match up with the PG2. Yeah. The lacing system is pretty basic. You've got the four foot fly wire, which does a trick, holds mm -hmm. the foot there. Doesn't cater to a lot of different foot types, but does a trick. Yeah. But it's pretty basic. Yeah. It's pretty much a one kind of fits all. You know, either it fits or it doesn't for a lot of people. Whereas yeah. a PG, either it fits or it fits. Yeah. Or it fits. Or it fits. Because it usually does always fit. Yes, I have, a, yeah. I have one of those seven, seven options. Yeah. Is, uh, one, of, one of them's gonna fit. Talking about the support of each shoe. In the Kyrie 4, we've got that outrigger shape, which helps with that lateral support. In the back, you've got those synthetic materials for ankle containment, along with a heel counter, which holds it all in place nicely. And those four foot fly wire cables, which ensures you're locked down in the front as well. Over here in the PG2, we also have an outrigger. We have the four foot band, which does a really good job of locking your foot down. We have some padding on the inside of the shoe. Not much of a heel counter, but the padding does do a good job of making sure that your heel is contained in the shoe. So the support in the PG2 is also pretty decent. With all that being said, the point's probably going to have to go to the Kyrie. 100%. Reason being, it feels a bit more like a supportive shoe. 100%. Thanks to those ankle containment materials along with the heel counter, it just feels like you're really locked in when you do lace them up. So, support goes to the Kyrie for sure. Yeah, for sure. So when we're talking about price, the Kyrie 4 is £105, whereas the PG2 is just £95. Now it's really all about what you get for that price. So it's all more about the value rather than even just the price. In the Kyrie, we've already spoke about, you've got that zoom bag in the heel, you've got levers and synthetic materials at the back, four foot fly wire, mesh and nylon materials. Nothing crazy, but a pretty good price. Whereas in your PG, you've got that four foot zoom, which is pretty thick, cord out phylon midsole, neoprene, mesh, suede. You've got a lot for less of the price. So that being said, PG2 gets the price. I didn't even talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, taking everything into consideration, the Kyrie 4 has come out on top once again. But talking about on-court performance, if I saw both shoes in my bag and I was like, let me get jiggy today, I might take the PG2s, you know? I might take join, the PG2s. I might join you, my guy. Do you know what I mean? Because that, that, that four foot zoom back to me. I might join you. It's not a joke thing in the fit. The it's not a joke thing either, people. So it's a very, very close very one. Very close. But taking both things and taking everything into consideration, the carry four comes out on top. But performance wise, what I prefer, I'd take the PG. So there you have it. So that's it guys. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, show your support by hitting that like button and comment down below which shoe you preferred. If you preferred the Kyrie or the PG, if you agreed with us, and even if you didn't, we'd love to know. And as always, don't forget to follow boys on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. And of course, hit the subscribe button for more content from Pure Kicks. All of our comparisons, our performance reviews, and even our vlogs, Make sure you hit that notification bell to be the first to know whenever we drop new content. Very important. 
All right, please. Yeah, please. Man, that's what you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're good, you, you know. You're good, you. So that's it from us. This is the Kyrie 4. This is the PG2. We're pure kicks. Let's get it. <laughs>